Hello, I'm Radio Friends. This is the second part of my video about building an LDMOS amplifier with one kilowatt. And this part shows the assembly of the board and uh, how to put it into a case. So first of all, I apply the solder paste to the board. I fix it to my table first, then use a stencil to apply the solder paste for the SMD parts. I mainly use SMD parts wherever possible. When the solder paste is applied, it goes to the pick and place machine. This is a TVM802, a cheap Chinese pick and place machine. And uh, now all the parts are assembled. It first checks the, p the parts with the camera and then puts it to the place where it should be. So now the components are placed. We have to solder the board. I have a small oven to solder SMD boards with an infrared lamp and soldering temperature is about 250 degrees. It takes it about two minutes. So two minutes later the board is soldered. It's still hot but we take it out. Let's have a close look. Yes, looks very nice. So for manufacturing I use one single board but uh, for mounting to the transistors we need two boards so we split it in two parts the input board and the output board. We clean the edges. And then we look how it fits to the transistors, which we have uh, soldered in the last video. It fits perfectly. Let's fasten the screws and solder the gate and drain connectors of the LD MOSFETs. So the next thing is uh, the, we make the transformers. These are 1 to 9 transformers, transmission line transformers. The design is mainly according W6PQL, who has a very nice uh, description in the internet on his webpage. But I used two of the cores, not, not just one. The cores are really cheap, so it makes sense to, to use two of them and to have it uh, very cool if you make a lot of power. Fits perfectly. So in the meantime the second transformer is also assembled and now we make the joke for the power supply of the transistors. I use PTFE cable and the cores are placed here. And the last uh, is the balloon. This is a one to one transformer. It just makes the asymmetrical output. 
I'm using a thicker cable. It's a RG ooh, 241, I think. It must be really thick because there is a lot of current on this cable and it will get hot if you use a small cable here. So, assembly is finished. In the meantime, I have also assembled the input transformer. Now, uh, there are two potentiometers, two trimmers for the bias voltage. And uh, the first thing I always do is to set the, the trimmers to zero volts. I do not want uh, full power <laughs> with, the, with, the, with the first uh, test. I want to start with zero amps and then slowly go up. This is also very important. This is a 10 dB attenuator in the input because the sensitivity of this amplifier is very good. It needs only a few hundred milliwatts and my transceiver delivers in uh, I think three or five watts minimum. So I have to use a attenuator in the input. Okay, now let's test if it works. I start with a with a power supply which delivers 30 volts but only 2.5 amps. So it's impossible to damage the transistors with only 2.5 amps, but we can see if everything is working or if somewhere is a shortcut or whatever. I set the the bias current of the transistors to 0.5 amps each, so in summary 1 amp. You can see it on the right meter. Then I apply some RF and it looks to, to work. Now this is a second uh, stage of of the testing with a power supply which delivers 24 volts but 30 amperes and I use a resistor in the positive power supply of 3.9 ohms just for security. So if something is something goes wrong, I get I do not get the full current. So we should now have a little bit more power in the output. It's about 40 or 50 watts output now. There's currently no output filter, so it's not really a sine wave. And the last test is now with a very good power supply, with an HP power supply, 50 volts, 60 amperes, but still with some security in the positive power supply. But now we go higher. The VPP number is multiplied by 10, so 480 volts peak peak, which is about uh, 550 to 600 watts, something like that. Okay, this is the overview, the power supply, the filter, the amplifier, and a couple of uh, power SVR meter bridges, this one here. This is just for testing, if everything works well. The water cooling, the pump. And this is a special built controller with a TFT touch display to control all the functions and make the security of the power supply. So, now we start mounting the boards. I have a plate in the middle of my case and on one side I mount the filters, the output low pass filter and on the other side I mount the, ampli the amplifier itself. So that's a low pass and also a power SVR meter and the shunt resistor and this is a case. and I, I put this into the case, fits perfectly. On the other side, later on, we will mount the amp. 
All right, this was the part two with assembly and pre-testing. And this is a preview for the next part, but it is still top secret. You will see it in detail in part three of my videos. Bye-bye.